At the moment, there are four general frameworks that most video game AI use. There are finite state machines, behavior trees, goal-oriented action planning, and utility AI. When you're just starting out in game dev, um, I'd say you probably want to just stick to finite state machines and behavior trees. These two frameworks are really simple to implement, and there are tons of pre-made systems out there for you to just drop into your game. So your NPCs will have very predictable behavior, and you can tweak it to your likings, which gives you a lot of control over how your NPCs behave. But these two systems are limited to rather simple behaviors, which is fine if that's enough for your game. Some common use cases for finite state machines and behavior trees would be simple minion enemies that can chase and attack the players, guard patrols that hover around a couple different waypoints, or non-essential NPCs that are just in the background for immersion. Now, if you actually want your NPCs to be smarter and somewhat unpredictable, then consider implementing GOP or Utility AI. GOP allows your NPCs to plan out sequences of actions that will that it'll do given a long-term goal while taking into consideration its current situation. So this would be very useful for RTS or city builder type games where you need your units to act on their own without much micromanagement from the player. This is in contrast to utility AI systems, uh, which are meant to select one best action based on a list of information about the game world. So in my experience, utility AI is better for cases where you want your NPCs to act based on its immediate situation, and it doesn't have to think about long-term effects on the world. So for example, fast-paced shooter games, fighter games, turn-based strategy games where the NPC has to decide what's the next best move in a situation to maximize or minimize a certain effect, like damage dealt or um, how much health or mana uh, does the NPC conserve by doing an, an, a particular action. An important thing to keep in mind is that you can very well mix these different AI systems together to get the NPC behaviors you want. It's just hard to do this when you're a just a beginner starting out. So I recommend uh, trying out finite state machines and behavior trees first to see if that's enough for your game. And if it's not enough, then upgrade to GOPE or Utility AI. And if that's still not enough, then consider mixing together the different aspects of each AI framework to create your own special special blend for your game. Now, what about machine learning? That's where all the rave is in the tech industry these days. So how is it used in games? Well, as of right now, machine learning isn't actually an AI that you can just drop into your NPCs and they start doing stuff like the other four AI systems. At the moment, machine learning is used to train your NPCs to play your game. And this is all done before your game even reaches the player. Although it's a really powerful way to create very intelligent NPCs, I think the biggest drawback of machine learning for your for um, video games right now is that the training process takes a long time, anywhere from a few days to a couple months, depending on how complex your game is. And this training needs to be redone for your NPCs every time you make a change to your game mechanics. So very powerful tool to create very smart NPCs, but very expensive in terms of time and computing resources. All right, hope this quick tip video can help point you towards the right AI for your game. This is Tulu. Thank you for your time and have a great day.